Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's FAQ time. Everybody always asks me about series 12 volt batteries for golf carts. Does it work? What do you need? Any extras, things like that? So I'm gonna answer that question today. Let's get right into it. So this is a 36 volt club car DS. If y'all remember, I've got a XRH 105 in the back. And recently, well, of almost six weeks ago now, added three EnjoyBot 12 volts in series. So these are series 12 volts and they're paralleled back to the XRH New Energy 105 for a total of 205 amp hours at nominal uh, 38.4 volts. So I figure now is a good time to see how these 12 volt batteries uh, are holding up as far as their balance between each, voltage differential between each. So I've not charged a golf cart in almost two weeks. I've had lows every night in the teens, high teens Fahrenheit. And then when I get home from work, it's already below freezing again. So basically these batteries have been in an ice block configuration, if you will. Uh, so no charging, I've just been discharging. So for the simplest conversion, everybody asks me, can I just put three or four, depending on your golf cart voltage, batteries in series and will it work? So that's what we're gonna, I'm gonna show you today. And as far as these enjoy bots, remember, did you see the teardown video? There'll be a link in the description. These are B stamped EVE cells. Got a sampling shunt right here. It's a Renergy battery monitor right there, set up on the negative side. And the 12 volt accessories are connected to that battery over there. With the 43.8 volt charger right here, it brings them all, each of them up to 14.6 or 3.65 per cell slam full. They balance out every time I complete a full charge. So we are at 75% charge right now across the, you know, these three here and then the XRH in the back. You know, they're combined, they're parallel together. I've got a breaker over there to disconnect the XRH from these, but these are just wired up with the original uh, lead acid configuration. It's just three batteries instead of six, six volts. Same wiring, same setup as it was. I said, just like the original lead acids, the 12 volt stuff was just taken off of a 12 volt side. I didn't put a converter in, uh, just down and dirty, you know, 12 volt uh, battery swap for this golf cart. So I'm gonna check the balance between each of the 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour batteries in series to see how close the voltages are between each battery after not charging for two weeks. So we'll start with the closest battery right here. I'm gonna try to get everything where you can see it. So this battery is at 13.33. This one, 13.33 as well. And let me go to the far battery over there and I'll check it as well. All right, this is the one that's got the lights on it at a 12 volt load. It's just less than one amp when the lights are on because they're LED, but I can't see the meter on this one. This one should be the farthest one out of balance uh, in the series pack. So y'all tell me what you see on the meter right there. Put it in the comment section for me what that meter's showing. Yes, I hear the naysayers now. There ain't no way. Oh, that's what I thought too to start with. I figured they would not stay that close in balance. Uh, that's, that's pretty close considering I'm pulling a load off of that battery right there. Uh, many times for 30 minutes, 45 minutes in the evenings for the lights. So, you know, that's that's not bad at all. And considering these are EVE, you know, B-stamp cells in these Enjoy Bots, you know, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. And I did not parallel these batteries together before putting them in. I just brought them straight out of the box, put them in here, and charged them to 43.8. And these are the hit batteries, by the way, for this system. These batteries have the shortest and largest wire going to the controller, the V-Glide, and the motor. So these batteries take the brunt of the hit. The XRH in the back, the 105, is basically just acting like a capacity increaser since it's paralleled. It's got a long run of two-gauge wire going back through there, going through a breaker and all that. So there's more resistance on the XRH in the back. So the Enjoy Bots are getting slammed. Uh, so their BMSs are holding up pretty good. So 
Let's go for a drive. I'll turn the XRH off. We'll just pull off of the Enjoy Box to show you that even though it's 100 amp BMS, it's pretty potent. So I'm gonna come over here to the battery display for the XRH and I'm gonna turn the discharge off. So the XRH is not gonna contribute to any load or any assistance. I'll try to show you during one of the current draws from the monitor there that we're not getting any help from the XRH 105. All right, solely on the enjoy bots. I don't know how this is gonna present. So we'll, we'll give it a hit. We're just on the enjoy bots. Just flat ground right there. Back it up here. Coasting downhill a long ways. Be a long ways to pull back up the hill too. All right, flat ground acceleration just on the Enjoy Bots single rider, no payload. Right, Enjoy Bots hill climb. All right, so I don't know what that peaked at because uh, I was trying to drive and avoid things. I think it got to 140 some odd amps. So, you know, BMS has had no problem pulling the hills, no problem with acceleration. And I'll show you the XRH. You know, it was asleep, 69% standby still, and still at 75.7 .7 amp hours. So watch this right here. All right, now it's discharging. Uh, back into the enjoy bots the percentage I used so you can see the current coming out you can see it on the BMS on the XRH so see right there we did not use the XRH at all during that little uh, current draw test hill climbing with the enjoy bots so I hope that proves that three 12 volt lithium iron phosphate batteries in series will power a 36 volt golf cart and this is a resistor cart uh old school style so you know, there's no controller no soft hit to it it's you know it's all or nothing so you know handles that no problem one thing i do notice just running on the three enjoy bots not having the xrh in play with its extra large wires and big bms the voltage drops a little more on acceleration so less voltage less power to the motor uh, when they're both tied together it is an absolute rocket ship up till its top speed of like 14 mile an hour it gets there really fast um but yeah i mean it works just fine on the you know enjoy bots right there i said see the pants feel uh definitely slower just on the three enjoy bots versus having them both together so i hope this helps answers any viewers questions that y'all have asked me in the comments about will will three 12 volt batteries work to power your 36 volt golf cart if you got a strong enough bms yes and so far like i said no voltage creep our voltage droop on one of the batteries versus the other. That was a very, very minute uh, voltage differential between those three batteries, uh, considering you know they've been used and not charged back up in a while. So hope you all enjoyed. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Whatever, let me know in the comment section. Appreciate you watching. Regardless, y'all have a good day. Take care and be safe.